Having the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid here is a blessing. I don't think any other cars would even attempt this challenge. It's a crazy challenge. It's the hardest challenge I've been involved in. This is another level. This is really pushing the boundaries of the vehicle and the plug-in hybrid system itself. One thing that is very special about the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid is the powertrain. It's a blend of torque from an electric motor and torque from a traditional two-litre petrol Ingenium engine. Because of the electric power, it gives the instant torque and especially accelerating out of these very tight hairpin turns, it's just going to give you that extra boost needed to immediately get back up to speed again. The plug-in hybrid is identified by a P400E badge on the tailgate, and P400E stands for plug-in hybrid, 400 horsepower, electric drivetrain. 400 PS is certainly a lot of power, but we'll need it on this challenge here in China. The car is 100% what we would sell to a customer. It's a standard production vehicle with no modifications at all. Coming up the 99 Benz, it's in its dynamic mode. It's in sport, we're using the paddles on the steering wheel to change gear. When we then come to the steps area, we'll alter the train response settings, we'll go into mud and ruts. We're using the optional off-road tyres. And that just gives us a little bit more sort of sidewall protection on these sharp steps. We do these challenges to push the vehicle to its absolute limits, and this one really did. The breadth of capability of the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid is phenomenal. Well, I mean, friends for life, I would say. 